Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show as I start my morning. I've got Chef Yumna. She's an internet star and the founder of, and CEO of Few Good Foodies. You know I'm a foodie. I love to talk food. So she's here to get us ready for easy summer cooking. Chef Yumna, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you so much, Melda, for having me. I'm so glad you're well, here with me. <laughs> you're my kind of person. You want to talk plant-based grilling. I have never done, well, I do vegetables. Is that considered plant-based? Yes, it does. <laughs> you're halfway there. <laughs> well, summer is here, so give us some tips for friendly and how to include some of that plant-based into our, our grilling. Absolutely. So I like to keep things um, super simple as much as possible and approachable and also try to add some balance. So you can see, well, you can see exactly, but in front of me, I just have a lot of different light life products and they make over 20 different plant-based proteins. So it makes it really easy to incorporate them into your grilling or into any kind of meals all year long. So I love to add lots of fresh vegetables whenever possible and just cooking with what's in season. So, um, and I, and I do that through like very easy meals, like with using light life. Okay. So we got backyard barbecues coming up. Any tips for us? Um, yes, absolutely. So one of the things I really like to do is, um, I love to have, um, some kind of salad, but adding texture to salad. So one way to add texture to salad is by adding crispy tempeh croutons. So these, um, tempeh croutons right here are made with, um, just three ingredients, soybeans, water, and rice. And what's cool is that you can easily air fry them to get a nice crisp texture. And they have lots of different flavors from smoky bacon to buffalo. So you can really have fun with them. I also like to do um, something fun with these um, smart um, meatballs that they have here. It's a ground, it's basically a plant-based meatball version. And I like to toss it with some harissa paste, just to give a nice Mediterranean flavor. And you can grill these up and serve them in pita or in lettuce wraps. And then you finally, play. go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, I was going to say, finally, you know, you can't think about like barbecue, barbecuing and grilling season without thinking about um, burgers and dogs. And so what I like to do here is just add more balance by using the Light Life plant-based burgers and their smart dogs. And I like to have fun with it by adding a nice little condiment bar. So over here, I'm doing some traditional condiments like mustard and ketchup, and then some other unexpected ones like pesto and hummus, for example. You've got plant-based beet balls and other dishes there with you. How do we um, introduce, the, introduce that to our guests or we just feed them that? Absolutely. And, you know, it, it can be tough because there's sometimes people just are expecting it not to taste as good or not to look as good. And what I would say is I would use recipes that are tried and true, like use your regular burger recipe that you have, use a regular um, kebab recipe that you have, and just basically um, make a little substitution for plant based just to add more variety and add more balance. And so it's a fun way to do it. And then also just having the regular toppings that people are used to so that it doesn't taste as different for people who are new to having more plant-based protein. So don't do like, ta-da, we have a meatless barbecue. <laughs> yeah, don't make it like, ta-da, it's a meatless barbecue. And just kind of have it like, hey, I want you to try this. Um, I want you to try this new recipe and tell me what you think of it. And it might taste pretty familiar to them, but just maybe a little bit unexpected flavors right there. They might be like, oh, this is really good. What is it? And then you can tell them. So it's always just kind of fun fun that way. <laughs> and I would like to add, you might need to cook it for you before you serve it to your guest, right? So too. I think it's fun to just give it a try yourself. And I actually am not vegan myself or vegetarian, but I'd love to just incorporate these kind of ideas just so that we're not eating meat seven days a week. You know what I mean? And so it's all about balance when it comes to feeding a family. And especially in the summertime when there's so much fresh vegetables that are in season. So it's such a good way to incorporate them. Um, but try them out. 
And if you want more, um, there's lots of recipes online for how to use some of these products. And where do you want my audience to go to get more information and become more knowledgeable? Absolutely. You can go to um, lifelife.com and they have all their different products there. So you can kind of see all the different varieties of plant-based proteins that they have. And they also have recipes for actually using some of these products. And if you wanted to get some of my recipes as well, I'm a feel good foodie. Chef Yumna Jawade, this is perfect for going into summer. Thanks for stopping by the Valder Bibi Show. It's been my pleasure. Thank you, Valder. Hi, I'm Valder Bibi. I host the Valder Bibi Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.